Welcome to Griffith Gaming Guides. In this video, we're going to show you how to acquire your international B license in Gran Turismo 7 by completing all 10 tests. And if this video guide helps you out, maybe click subscribe. Now, we do get gold in all 10 of these international B license tests. However, you only need bronze in order to be able to get your international B license. So let's get into it. So International B1 will take you around Racing Line Intermediate 1. And from the start line, move the car from the left side to the right side of the track, then brake heavily just after the first corner marker on the left side. Release the brake when you reach the second corner marker and then feather the throttle on and off to increase your speed, but not to cause the car to spin its wheels. Keep doing this until you reach the shadow on the track around 75% of the way around the corner, then apply full throttle to the finishing line. And to get the gold time, you need to do this in less than 17.6 seconds. International license B2 will take you around racing line intermediate two. Keep to the middle of the track and brake when you reach a speed of 138 miles an hour or 220 kilometers per hour, then brake with moderate force steering the car into the corner as you brake. Release the brake just before you reach the corner and take as much curb as you dare through the chicane Feathering the throttle as you go before applying full throttle at the exit, then lift and coast through the second chicane to not scrub off too much speed, and again, attack the curb as much as you dare before reapplying full throttle, crossing the finishing line. And in order to get the goal time, you need to do this in less than 15.3 seconds. License Test International B3 will take you around high speed corners. Keep to the right as you start the test and brake at the 100 meter mark, but don't brake too hard. You just want to scrub off enough speed to negotiate the first corner. Now full throttle and then pump on and off with the throttle as you hit the inside line of the next right hander, applying full throttle around 75% of the way around this corner. Now brake heavily just before the 50 meter board and steer into the corner as you continue to brake. Now coast a fraction before feathering the throttle on and off to not spin up the rear tires too much. When the car is stable, apply full throttle and steer gently around the final sweeping corner to cross the finishing line. And in order to get the gold, you need to do this in less than 37.8 seconds. License Test International B4 will take you around Urban Tracks 2. Follow the track at full throttle, moving the car to the right for the left hand corner and to the left for the right hander, then brake heavily around the 100 meter board and keep braking while steering to the left. Once you reach the apex of the corner, apply full throttle and follow the route to the finishing line. And in order to get the gold, you need to do this in less than 31.2 seconds. License International B5 will take you around dirt driving intermediate. You need to move to the left after the start of the test and then stay there, cutting the corner all the way, and then take the right and left corners at full throttle, steering just to keep yourself in line with the designated route. Now brake at the last shadow on the ground before the corner and keep the brake applied as you steer into the left corner. Feather the throttle on and off as you go around the series of tighter corners before finally applying full throttle and cutting the final left corner as much as you can before crossing the finishing line. And in order to get the gold, you need to do this in less than 34.8 seconds. License International B6 will take you around cornering in the wet intermediate. From the start, steer to the right to hit the inside line and then brake heavily just before the corner marker indicator. Keep to the middle of the track and hit a late apex around the corner, feathering the throttle on and off to not cause the wheels to spin. Move to the right and brake heavily at the point where another part of the track starts. Brake into the apex of the corner and steer your car into the lighter racing line part of the track as you get better traction on this racing line than the puddles of water that litter most of the corner. Apply as much throttle as you can, but don't overdo it as the car is very easy to lose control of and then when under control in the straight line, apply full throttle while only being gentle on the steering to ensure that the wheels don't slip in the wet conditions. 
And in order to get the gold, you need to do this in less than 39.3 seconds. For license International B7, which will take you around Racing Line Intermediate 3, from the start, keep to the right and brake at the point where you see a Gran Turismo flag on the right side of the track. Brake only enough to slow the car down, then coast around the first half of the corner, trying to get into the position at Camper Grove on the track before applying full throttle and aiming the car to the left of the track. Then brake heavily at the big right in on the track and steer the car into the inside line and reapply the throttle, but be prepared to pump the throttle while you go around this corner. Lift on the throttle and brake slightly for the final corner and full throttle when you can to accelerate over the finishing line. And in order to get the gold, you need to do this in less than 28 seconds. Licence International B8 will take you around consecutive corners intermediate. You need to keep to the left and brake with moderate intensity at the point where the downhill bit ends and aim for the first corner apex. Coast around the corner and let the car drift to the left before pumping the throttle and letting the car drift to the left. This strategy is the same for all four of these corners as it helps the car stabilise and means you don't have to brake and over slow the car down. Apply full throttle at the apex of the final corner and then accelerate over the finishing line. And in order to get the gold, you need to do this in less than 20 seconds. Licence International B9 will take you around corners with elevation changes 1. You need to move to the middle after the start and brake moderately when you're parallel with the corner marker indicator. Keep to the inside line and pump the throttle as you go downhill, then position the car to the right to take the final corner and lift the throttle momentarily before applying full throttle while steering hard to the left to take the corner without braking. The car will drift wide, but that lift on the throttle should mean you avoid hitting the barrier on the right and have plenty of speed to cross the finishing line. And in order to get the gold, you need to do this in less than 18.9 seconds. And finally, for Licence International B10, which will take you around applying the racing line, you need to keep to the middle of the track and brake moderately just as you hit the tunnel shadow and keep to the inside line, pumping the throttle to maintain the inside line and apply full throttle, keeping your car to the left of the track. Brake heavily for the next corner just as you meet the white GoPro sign on the right-hand side. Steer into the corner and brake until you meet up with the second GoPro sign when you can apply full throttle on corner exit, keeping to the left. Brake heavily but only briefly at the corner indicator marker for the chicane, applying full throttle and immediately keeping to the right to reduce the steering angle through the chicane. Keep to the right going into the tunnel and steer left at the corner marker before tapping the brakes. Now cut this final corner as much as you dare, applying full throttle when you can to accelerate over the finishing line. And in order to get the gold, you need to do this in less than 42 seconds. So that's how to do all 10 licenses as part of your international B license in Gran Turismo 7. I do hope that it's helped you out. If it has, give the like button a click for us. Let me know down in the comments what your favourite or least favourite of the 10 licences in the International B licence were. And then whilst you're down there, you're going to find a little red button that says subscribe. But give it a click, then press the notification bell next to it. That way you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. You guys take care of yourselves, and we look forward to seeing you back here at Griffin's Gaming Guides.